All right, so now that we have dealt with the investing in interest piece, we need to change our current borrowing formula to account for all of our changes. So kind of the logic behind this is if the unadjusted cash is less than the minimum cash, meaning the firm needs to raise funds, then we check to see if the borrowing number is less than zero. So that means that with the firm would have some investments to sell. So we'll take our whatever the maximum is of our minimum cash plus cumulative borrowing minus the unadjusted cash or zero to determine that number. If the firm doesn't have investments to sell, um, it means it's going to have to borrow. So the minimum cash will be less than unadjusted cash. If the firm then going back doesn't need to raise the funds, then the borrowing would be greater than zero. You have to use excess funds to reduce previous uh, borrowings. So your current borrowing will be equal to the negative or minimum of whatever you borrowed or the unadjusted cash minus the minimum cash. Otherwise, it's equal to zero. So now coding all of that, we're going to modify our current borrowing formula and make the following changes. So this will be equal if, so E30 less than B37, that's still fine. We're now going to insert an if function, so a nested if. So if, parentheses, D34, if that is less than zero, then we'll have the maximum of parentheses, the B37 minus E30, we'll now tweak that to say plus the D34. And then comma zero in that parentheses, so that's the value of true. And we have the comma on the outside, and then B37 And this B37 needs to be anchored because that's reference in the minimum acceptable cash. That amount minus E30. And then we'll end that parentheses, comma. And then another if function. So if parentheses D34 is greater than zero, comma, then the minimus, oh, sorry, comma. Then the minus minimum of that D34, E30 minus B37 is in there. And then in between that, we'll put comma zero. So that's a very long, complex, logical formula. So now we'll hit enter. We'll set the correction. And that's our new current borrowing. So now I'll drag that across. And you'll see there's no changes for now. We've yet to include maximum acceptable cash, which we'll do a couple videos from now. But our next steps is we want to talk about auditing this formula, making sure there's no errors associated with it.